if we can start talking, or if we can move now to talk about um, your work uh, in, in, the, in the health sphere. I mean, you do a lot of work with the NHS. Can you tell us about that, the sort of jobs, the sort of contracts you've got? Certainly. So we, we work with the, with the healthcare for, for, you know, for many years, and uh, we have both clinical type of contracts with NHS and also research type of contracts. Uh, when uh, you know, the data that we store is research-based research um, data, uh, uh, for healthcare, uh, so we actually do kind of both sides of the house. Uh, we specialize in fo in working with healthcare institutions who generate a, a, a high amount of, of data and they need to preserve it uh, for many years. And, and the common ground is both research and clinical data. And what challenges um, does the NHS hold as a, as, a, as a data holder? What challenges does the NHS face as a, as a, as a data holder? Well, the NHS faces many kind of challenges when it comes to kind of data and data, data management. Um, one of them is, first of all, being compliant. And there's kind of ever-growing need for and, and to have stringent and requirements and re regulatory issues around data, especially uh, you know, personal data. Uh, and we're helping to facilitate that, that type of, of regulatory uh, issue by providing the encryption and the safeguarding of data as, as needed. They also face the challenge of accessing and sharing data. Um, the, they face the challenge of actually making data work for them as opposed to just storing stuff uh, that no one would ever use. Um, and we're part of that transition. We're part of that revolution, to, so to speak. Um, so we help organizations to become paperless. We help organizations to become more digital. So when there's digital data being generated, we help them to store it make it accessible, make it compliant for many years to come. What role does Archiving play in the NHS's journey from being a paper-based organization to a digital one? So we believe we're part of that evolution and um, the NHS is, um, have a clear program to become more digital and become paperless. At the end of the day, um, we are focusing, or our business focuses on the long-term archiving of that data. So we make sure that the data is safeguarded for many years to come, accessed in the, you know, in the right way, um, lives up to any compliance and the security standards which the NHS would require us to, uh, to, to meet. Um, and with that, alleviating any risk uh, with associated with digital data. And what sort of um, data is the NHS creating? Is some of it very visual, very large files? Indeed. So uh, it depends on the type of data uh, generated by the, um, that specific requirement. But if you take pathology uh, as an example, um, so digital pathology is one of the, you know, the, the hottest trends in, 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 in NHS or healthcare. Um, and the data that we preserve is not numerical in a sense. It's, it's, it's pathology images. Uh, if you look at, uh, in, at uh, genomics um, and sequencing of, of, the, of genomics, it's, um, it's not numerics. So these are large file sizes of images that needs to be um, stored and archived for, for many years. And um, does the NHS impose particular rules on you as a company about the sort of safe storage and the safe transit of, of, of data? Indeed. So the NHS has a, a large amount of, of data regu of regulatory requirements about dealing with data, and we, and we meet all of them. Um, and in order for us to be able to even propose to an NHS trust our services, we need to comply with that, and we have, and the company has been doing that for many years now. And do you pass the data back to the NHS? I mean, is it, is it encrypted when it comes back to the NHS? Or? It is. One of the values that we provide is that the encryption is actually being owned by our clients. We are merely custodians of the data. Um, it's not our business what type of data is being stored. So our clients are able, and you know, and healthcare clients included, are able to access the, their data. How quickly can you make um, a record or a file available to a specialist should they need uh, an image or a report quickly? Almost instantaneously. So part of the technology that we provide, we work with our clients and actually learn what type of data needs to be accessed more frequently than others. Um, and there are many tiers of, of being able to access data. Um, so in essence, when we are making data accessible almost instantaneously by understanding what type of data our clients, a doctor 
or a, a researcher in, in, in higher education would need it um, and make decisions accordingly in kind of where to store it and how accessible should we make the data.